less than 3% of resumes result in a job interview. Knowing this, we created a job hunt notion template that actually helps you a quickly apply to jobs with templates and b easily track the progress so you can apply to as many as you want without being disorganized. This notion job hunt template is 100% free and includes the job tracker CRM, the resume template, cover letter tutorial and personal contact CRM. Again, all of this combined, 100% free. The link is in the description. If you want to learn Notion and build this entire template from a blank page, then check out the previous four videos, also linked in the description. So here we have Career Quest. Now it looks very simple, but that is a good thing. The more complicated it is, the less you are actually going to achieve. So here we have the job hunting CRM. We have the personal CRM down here and built into this job hunting database, here we have the template for the resume and the cover letter. So let's apply to a hypothetical job and see the actual process of using this template. So I'll just click on new here or I can click on new here and then here I'll fill out the company. So the company is called Example Co. Then here in the job description, I will paste the link to the job description. Most of the time, 99% of the time, the job descriptions are online as a link. So you can put that here. If not, you can open this up and copy and paste it in here or drop the PDF in here as well. Then here we have the job title. So I'll say CEO. That's what I'm applying for here. Now the hours, you don't have to fill this out if you are only applying for full-time positions. So this is more applicable if you're looking for a part-time job or a contract job. So you could fill that out here, 30 hours to be a CEO, probably not, but we can fill that out here. If you don't need this, you can simply delete this or you can just hide in view by doing that. Now the salary, that's quite important to know. So let's say that the salary here is 80,000 per year. Now, as you can see here, it's showing up with the average. So if I add another job here, and let's say it's 120,000, you can see here it's showing us the average is 100,000. This is really useful to know in this dashboard, just to know, okay, what is the kind of market rate for the job positions that I'm applying for. That way I know what is kind of realistic, what's on the high end and what's on the low end of what I could get. And then here we have the deadline. So if I click here and say the deadline is on the 17th, we can see here I have two full days left to do this. So I didn't fill this out. This is a simple formula. Now another cool feature built into this is the sorting here. So if I add another thing and add a deadline to it for tomorrow, you can see it actually jumps up in the queue here. That's because this sort here is saying, hey, I wanna see whatever is the next thing coming up, show me that first in the list. So that way we can see here what we should be prioritizing. So right now we've just added it to this database, but we haven't started applying to it. So if we go into board view here, we can see it's in the no stage section, which means we haven't actually taken the first step, which is applying to the job. So in here in list view, we can either click here and do applied, or we could have changed it in here by simply dragging it like this. This is a really useful way to work. Okay, cool, I know that I'm in the applied section. I think it's maybe time that I should follow up with them. Or if they're all sitting in the no stage, you know what, maybe it's time to apply to some jobs. Speaking of, let's apply to some jobs. So example co, I will open this up and I will click on the new job template here. Now it will load in automatically two resumes for me the resume for job type number one and resume for job type number two. The reason I've done two resume templates here is to give you a better chance of actually getting a job. See, what most people do is apply for multiple different industries or sometimes even completely different job positions. And for that, it requires different resumes. So now we've loaded these in these templates so we can start editing them and this will only be edited for example co. Now up here, you want to write your first and last name because when we're downloading this, this will be the title here. And then at the top, here, this section here, this is where you're going to write a 15 word short summary about yourself. The reason we've done that is the average time a hiring manager spends looking at a resume is between six and seven seconds. That is not a lot of time, as you can tell. So we need to put a lot of effort into this section here. For newspapers, this is the catchy headline. For YouTube videos, this is the YouTube title. For Instagram, this is the hook. It's basically the most important part of your resume. So put a lot of thought and effort into this 15 word summary here. Then underneath that, we have a bit of a longer summary. These two here should be completely custom for the job that you are applying to. That is why we don't have one resume template that we're using over and over and over again. Then here we have the contact section, email address, phone, and LinkedIn. We also have a skills section here on the side. 
41% of recruiters look for skills on a resume first, and then be sure to fill out your experience and to fill out your education. 63% of hiring managers say that education is an important factor in their hiring decision. Now it might seem like a lot of work to customize every single resume that we're sending out to every single job, but the average resume only lists about half of the keywords used in the description. So we really want to make sure that we're listing the necessary skills, we're listing the necessary experience, we're listing the necessary education, and the summary is properly talking about how you can provide value to the company. So we have the resume template one and resume template two. Now, obviously every time you won't go in and change this lorem ipsum text. So in here, we can change the template. So you only have to do this one and then do some minor changes each time. So we'll click on the down arrow here. And then by new job, we will click on these three dots and click on edit. We are now editing the actual template. So now if you click on resume for job type number one, in here, we are still in the actual template of this. So to show you, if I do email at example, and I then go back and click on new, and then I'll just open this up and do the new job. So now if I click on resume for job type number one, you could see email at example. So you can change all of this beforehand and then only make some minor tweaks every time that you send this out. Lastly, we have the cover letter here. Now, as you can see, this is a blank page. See, only 21.5% of people always submit cover letters with their job applications. And of those who send cover letters, only 35.4% make adjustments to them according to each job they apply to. So simply by customizing your cover letter, you will stand out from the crowd. In the cover letter video, I show you how to use ChatGPT to read through your resume that we just created and the job description to perfectly create a tailored cover letter. That is why this is left blank. You don't have to write this from scratch. We are going to use ChatGBT to actually write this for us in a completely custom way. So we have our job hunting CRM, we have our resume and cover letter. The last thing here is the personal CRM. Now keeping your personal CRM here is so important for job hunting specifically. You want to build up a network, and as you do that, you want to track all of these so you actually remember the people and you can actually contact them in the future. So let's add someone here. Let's say Jerry. And then in the relationship field here, you can say, is it a family member? Is it a friend? Is it someone from a specific company? Is it someone from a specific job? So I'll write here company one, just as an example. Then here, and I really recommend filling this out, is the expertise column. This is so important to know for job hunting, but also for mentorship. So I'm a big advocate for mentorship and getting a mentor who can help you along the way. So here you can fill out the different things that they are an expert in, let's say sales, for example. And it's a multi-select, so you can fill out multiple. So I could also say cooking as an example. Now I'll just add another property here and write blah, just to show you a feature here. If I'm looking to talk to someone who is an expert in sales for either mentorship reasons or to maybe get a job and have help from someone who is actually in that field, then what I can do is click on this filter button here and then filter by expertise. I can now say, oh, I only want to see people that are in sales and you're going to see this blah disappear. So that row is still in this system here, but it's just being hidden at the moment to show me only people that have sales as an expertise. So it's a very quick way for me to sort through my entire list. And then when I'm done looking through this, I can simply click here and just remove this filter. And now you can see blah comes back. Then fill out the email and the phone, obviously and then fill out the last contacted. Now with the last contacted, again, we can sort by recency. So let's say we saw this person yesterday and we saw this person the week before. As you can see, it has a sort on it and it is showing us the person that we haven't talked to in the longest amount of time. So I'm going to add a relationship to this one. Let's say company two. Now what I can do here is also add a group. So if I click on these three dots here and click on group, what I can do is group these by relationship. I could even group these by expertise if that's what I want to do. But if I group these by relationship, here I'm only seeing the people in company one. And in this section here, I'm only seeing the people in company two. This is a really useful way to work through your list as well. Having a personal CRM and contacting the necessary people could just be the thing that lands you that job. Again, this career quest template is 100% free and linked in the description. If you want a Notion template that organizes everything else in your life, your tasks, your projects, your life buckets, your notes, your resources, your journaling, your time tracking, your time blocking, and so much more, 
then check out my headquarters template. It has over 900 users with a five-star rating. It is the all-in-one Notion system to organize your life. Thank you so much for watching this video.